Accused of murdering his ex-girlfriend, and now one of the many questions to be answered is why. Well, did a video of a sexual encounter make Maxwell Brack angry enough to kill? Action News reporter Kimberly Craig was in court today, and Kim, will the defense be calling any witnesses? Well, at this point, it's really too soon to tell. The defense may decide they have no reason to call anyone to the stand because it is prosecutors that have to show there's enough evidence to order Maxwell Brack to stand trial. She was placed knees first into the bin. That's how the body of 24-year-old Kajavia Globe was found inside a garbage bin just two days after her relatives reported her missing to Detroit police. And Kajavia's ex-boyfriend, Maxwell Brack, is now charged in her murder. And today, a police officer described how Kajavia was found. Inside the dumpster was the body of a black female. Uh, she appeared to have on a red or orange type sweater uh, around her neck. Uh, was a red or orange, different color red or orange uh, rope, and she appeared to be nude from the waist down. And while the medical examiner says there were no injuries to Kajavia's internal organs and he could not determine how she was killed, he did not rule out suffocation. Doctor, are there any forms of asphyxia that do not leave external or internal injuries? Yes. In fact, many forms of asphyxia may not leave any external or internal signs of injury, such as suffocation. When Kajavia's sister got on the stand on cross-examination, she was asked about a video Kajavia had on her phone of Kajavia and her ex, Maxwell Brack, having sex. Kajavia's relatives believe Brack was upset because his current girlfriend saw that video. Alondriana Burns says it was her sister's current boyfriend who reportedly discovered it and told her to look at it. An apparently consensual or voluntary sexual act between them? Yes. It was like a selfie, having sex, right? Yes. And do you know who was operating the camera? Kajavia. Wasn't one of these guys. Huh? Kajavia. Kajavia was operating the camera. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that a yes? Yes. Maxwell Brack used to live on the same block of fielding where Kajavia's body was found behind a vacant house. And this neighbor reportedly picked Brack out of a photo array as the man she saw hauling a garbage bin to the back of that house. And did they put it in front of their house or someone else's house? Across the street at a vacant house. And inside Brack's old house where he used to live over there on Fielding, police say they found plastic bags that were similar to plastic bags that were found with Kajavia's body. The preliminary exam resumes next week as prosecutors have one more witness to call to the stand. We will certainly keep you updated. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Back to you.